So Logie, it's the business end of the season. It's the quarter-final stage of the All-Ireland. We have Tyrone versus Monaghan. First match, what do you think? Dermot, it is the business end of the season. and It's the type of the season, everybody. The, the season really starts here. Uh, there are four quarter-finals on offer this coming weekend. And, you know, when you look at some of the games, they're worthy of any All-Ireland final. The first one, Tyrone Monaghan. Before you start talking about Tyrone, let's talk about Monaghan. What a season. Uh, I watched them uh, the very first game when they played Anthem and they were atrocious. One of the worst championship games I'd ever seen. They produced quality football to beat Calvin. A wee bit fortunate to get through you know, in the semi-final against their neighbours. And then in the final when they had nothing to lose after being the bridesmaid for so many times in the Austin Championship final uh, of the previous 10 years, they produced the goods on a day when everything went for them and nothing went right for Donegal. You know, you look at the likes of McFadden and Murphy and Laz that got to know that were, they were just kept out of the game. And then, of course, Lacey wasn't fit, uh, which was fairly obvious. He wasn't picked for the second game after that. And then the injury to uh, young Mark McHugh. Everything went for them. Not taking away from their result at all. It was a magnificent result. And it breathed life into the provincial championship. Because it's good to see it going round. That would have been Don Don Donegal's third in a row. And maybe even the most ardent Donegal fans wouldn't have begrudged uh, Monaghan and us the title. Now, they have to step up into Croke Park. It's a different kettle of fish. You're into a, a different sort of game, a different sort of mindset. You're up against a team, uh, well, a team, I suppose, that some people describe as very, very ordinary. And uh, other people, well, the same people describe them as cynical. Uh, they're streetwise. They're cute. This Tyrone team plays a system, and they're cute, and they've got some quality players as well. Croke Park, a bigger ground, bigger atmosphere, brings its own tension, brings its own nerves. Now, Monaghan will have celebrated the Ulster title, and no matter what anybody thinks, and no matter what they'll try and tell you, they'll say, oh, we're, we, we'll be geared for Tyrone. I'm, I'm just not so sure. You know, I think that uh, once you win the Ulster title, after all the years of trying, it's very hard to replicate it again, because the performance against Donegal was five-star. I'm not sure they might be able to do that. I think Tyrone are cuter. I think they're more economical. And I think they might get... Uh, they, they might just stick it by... A point or two, there'll not be much in it, but uh, I think it'll be a great game between two good Ulster sides, and I'm looking forward to that game. I think it's going to be a cracking game, despite what some of the pundits might say, because if there's pundits try and ridicule Ulster football, proofs in the pudding, four teams are in the quarterfinals. That's uh, true. There is an issue right now where people are talking about cynical fouling in the yeah, game. They're talking about cynical fouling, but you know, at the same time, is it a cynical foul in the last five minutes? Is there a difference between that foul and the cynical foul in the first five minutes? You know, because uh, until the last uh, uh, few minutes of the Tyrone game, uh, it was me who were involved in as many cynical fouls as Tyrone were involved in. So, like, like, let's wake up and smell the coffee here. Like, you know what I mean? Is somebody going to try and say we should sit back and let the fellow go through and score a goal and go, oh, what a fantastic goal that was? And everybody will go home happy. And I laugh at some of the pundits that are saying these. They come from counties that were well renowned in the dark art as well. So, like, it's, like you have to be fair about it. If you're going to talk about cynicism, you have to look at it on a level playing field and look at all the teams and see what they all have to say you know you just can't pick out one team call them cynical and dismiss the efforts of the other sides it just can't be done it's ridiculous it's just it's just pulling things out that suits your agenda and that's not look it's poor punditry that's all i would say